The stick is a crucial part of the game of hockey, and knowing the physics of how it affects the puck could be beneficial to a player. The stick is composed of two main parts, the, the shaft. shaft and the head, which is also split into two parts known as the head and toe of the stick. It is important that these elements are proper weight and size to make the most out of the stick itself. Another important part of the stick is the curved blade attached to the end of it. The curved blade is responsible for putting pucks on target as the curvature creates a rotational force in the puck called the gyroscope effect. The gyroscope effect works because as the puck is rotating, it resists change from the axis it is on and instead goes in a straight line. The amount of curvature the blade has in it affects the amount of spin the puck has. The puck also must gain the speed used to move it. To do this, a hockey player could do a couple of things. They could use the elastic energy that is stored when the stick is bent along the ice, potential energy, and release it creating a forward motion that would strike the puck at the player's discretion. Another way of accelerating the puck is by using the collision method. As the player simply swings at the puck, and when the stick collides with it, there is forward movement transferred from the stick to the puck. This transfer in energy is caused by the stick striking the puck, slowing the larger mass stick down significantly, and greatly increasing the speed of the puck. An advanced player could also use a combination of these two methods to develop a truly unstoppable shot.